to the teeth and turbos. at Bradenton Motorsports Park and tonight I've got Dr. Pepper here and we're gonna try and make my first seven second pass ever. We got Ruby and there's a couple other guys coming out tonight to have fun. It's Thursday night and if you don't know at Bradenton Motorsports Park you can come out and run your own car for ten dollars all night. So come on out. It's gonna be a great time. I've been shooting for this number for a long time but during the drag weeks we've been governed by the 850 class. I'm going to only run eight and a half seconds. So now it's time to turn the car up. We got some freedom to do that here and come tag along. It's going to be a great episode. All right. So since sick week, we've done a couple modifications. Obviously we've gone to a bigger VS racing turbo. That's a 98, 118 and uh, got a new cold side done. Sam got this thing polished up. It's looking absolutely incredible. Got a new hot side done, new waste skates. So the car's obviously capable of more power, but we know it was already probably seven seconds capable before we went to sick week, but now it's it's got to make it happen. I mean, the car is totally built up for it and we're ready. All right, folks. Everybody's favorite suit doctor pulling into the lane. Fire me up. Nice, nice little burnout there. converter sounds like it's having a hard time 824 at 166 that was the fastest pass of my life but we got a lot of blow by let's see what's going on i think it was overfilled on fluid so now we should be at a good level, but that was definitely one of the faster passes I've ever made because I stayed in it all the way to the end. Normally I was letting out early on sick week to make that 850, but I pulled the chute. We're gonna get the chute back in and head back to the boys and see what I did. Sucker's making some steam, but that converter sounded like it was holding on for dear life. What do you think, Sam? Converter's having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> please help, please help, please help. And you know what that means, a lot of heat. Heat. A lot of heat going on when it's doing Ooh. that, so he yeah. might need to tighten that thing up. That's going to be a little bit because yeah. it's never made quite that sound before. Yeah. <laughs> that was a new sound, That's not ideal. Nice not bad. Looking good. Nice. That was uh, probably one of the faster passes I've ever made. Did you see the slip? No. Oh, it went 824. Dude, that's my TV. There you go. Got a lot of blow by, but I think I'm overfilled on oil. Dude, so. you're. We can hear your converter screaming. Oh, I shifted super early. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be I part of it. I shifted at like 6600. A lot of blow by. How? Like, what did it fill the catch tank? Or? Look at my windshield. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it, it's on the left side, Jack. He just went right. Oh, is it left? Side? Yeah, yeah, left. 
Um, sound, I mean, dude, great pass overall. Yeah, can't pass. can't complain about it. your PB. I'm happy with it. Could have blown up and still yeah. be good. Dude. It was revving to the moon on the big end. I know, <laughs> it was up dude. There. Did you hear it? Yeah, you need a tighter converter, it was no doubt. Screaming. Hey, it's all good. Like, good job. Lou louder, higher pitch than I've ever heard it before. Well, let's check the data log. Looks data like you log. might have some uh, brake fluid on your wheel That's too. A blow -by. That's oil? Oh, okay. Well, I don't like that. That ain't ideal. Uh, Ready for this? Yeah, we think the converter's a little too loose, right? 14.2 pounds of boost. Okay. Low gear. Looks like you got her up to about 16 in high gear. 15.8 or something like that. Plenty of room to open her up. Yeah. That turbo is moving a lot more air than your old buddy. How's that converter, converter phasing out? Uh, the converter, I mean... When you went through the traps, you were sitting at a steady 7,800 RPM. That's kind of, she was singing. So, maybe yeah. shift a little earlier. It looks like it's actually coupling, which is good. Like right here, you can see it couples in. At what RPM? Basically, it flashes it's up to 6,500, then it comes back down. Then you shift it at about 72, 71. so not bad. And then it didn't really, couple up hard and high gear, but I think we can definitely run a 7 tonight. Alright, well let's increase the boost. I think we can definitely run a 7, brother. So if we're making uh, let's I do might the... see the slip. Like, what it ran to 60 foot. But we didn't get it, did we? Told me it's about ready to do something. I think it can go at 7 right here. Uh, we went from 10 pounds of dome pressure up to 14. And, we, and there was a pretty slow ramp in there. So, this should pick up quite a bit. Alright. Me too. Let's see what... Old Dr. Pepper's capable of on this round. My old turkey. Man, obnoxious, dude. I love it. Spicy one. There you go. Off the side. Perfect. <laughs> first PB tonight going at 829. Garrett turned it up a ton on the leave. I mean, it left like a freaking rocket ship. I shifted early again at like 6,600 RPM, which means it probably really shifted at like 7,000. But let's go get our time slip because I'm feeling pretty good about that. 809 and 809, literally 9,000s away from a seven. Oh, oh my God, 178 miles an hour. We went up from 166 to 179. That's 15 miles an hour. Yeah. 170. Is that 178? Holy Toledo. 809 at 178. We'll put a little bit in the leave. It'll do it. That's a plenty of mile an hour to go a seven. Well, it looks like it's still running. We'll take that as a win. It sounds like it's on all eight even. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the 80 Club, brother. Woo. See that mile per hour? I know, 178. That's up like 12, 13 miles an hour since the last Dude, run. Dude, you must yeah. have had uh, yeah. 66 very seven. high RPMs. I'd like to check that out. Very high RPMs. Oil pressure is holding solid 20. That's what I was keeping my eye on. The whole on the time. idle? No, down the whole, whole track. Idle, it came back though? Idle comes back, yeah. But at the top end, it's like yeah. 25 pounds, which is Not sketch. ideal. Not pretty ideal. Sketch. All right, well, you ready to go at seven? I am. Yeah, All right, I I'll make it happen on, on this next nine, one. Nine, one hundred seven seconds. <laughs> I know. It's like this much time. Oh. All right, show us what we got here. Data log number 2.0. way later last time. Remember how I was like trying to leave at the same time? This time left on 12 pounds. Ooh. Which is nice, because I didn't change anything on the start line. That's spicy. But instead of making uh, 15 pounds, max boost was 17.7. So, so two pounds picked us up two tenths. Yeah, I mean, but really, like, we were holding 17 pounds, almost 18 the whole way, versus, like, it was, like, 
13 to 14, then it came up to It was to a 15. slower ramp for sure. Yeah, so this one, it got up to 18 and held. But see this early part right here? This is this is two, three tenths, you know, in this area. Yep, just by a couple pounds of boost. So if we get that power in early, which I think- What was the shift at too early? The shift was at- 7,000. 7,100. Okay. So if you can run that out a little further for me, and then I'm gonna kick it down low and it's gonna go with seven. All right, let's do it. We got a camera alert. So I'm looking at your tune up here and I'm like, all right, 17 pounds boost, whatever. I pull up the timing and I'm like, 26 degrees timing. I'm like, damn, that's, that's pretty high. Bro, this thing has all the timing and then some in it. So what? then I'm like, all right, that's no way Nate put this in here. So I texted him and he's like, dude, no way. He's like, don't run the car like that. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry, she just came back and she's dialed. So good. This See where that says 60? That's supposed to be 30. Oh. So this whole table is supposed to be over 30 pounds of boost instead of 60. So a 30 pounds of boost would add 20 degrees of timing in it. So now we gotta pull all this timing out of it. Which is gonna decrease gonna power. Slow it's down, slow it down a lot. But we'll have to like replace it with boost. You know where that happened? Where? I switched the map sensor from like a three bar to a five bar and then I clicked auto scale. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> you're so lucky that we did not just melt business. Uh, I mean, like, they could be. Hey, we all make mistakes. Learn from my lucky. mistakes. Dude, Don't use so the lucky. Holly Auto Scale when you switch your map sensor, bro. Here, are you calling me? Parker's recording right now. This MF for you changes map sensor without telling us and used Auto Scale. Nah, I'm gonna fix it, but it just made a run on that. So. <laughs> hey guys, it's okay because he's a doctor, so yeah. we're good. <laughs> doctor of teeth. Us, com us commoners can't get by with it. Unless there's, yes. unless there's an emergency, then call a real doctor, but he is a doctor. All right, guys, so we made quite a few adjustments. Dropped a ton of timing out of it, like 10 degrees of timing out of it. Picked up some boost though, so it may balance out, but we'll see. Hoping it works out for him. Shifted it really early. 811. All right, so we're close. Something flew off. See that mile an hour is down. Lost six mile an hour, 172 mile an hour, 811. But it's still, you know, it only lost two hundredths, but it lost six mile an hour. So we're on the right track. Now we gotta feed it some boost. I just wanna be careful. We got another run for it. All right, at least we know where it's at now. Yeah, you know, a lot Safe, safer. A lot safer. Okay, so. Way safer. I mean, we're still a tenth off. Yeah, no, we'll, we can hit it. Right, I know right where it, I know right where it needs it, you know. But I was like, we went two steps forward and five back right there, and now we're back where we were. So okay. this time, I think, <laughs> you know, I'm, I feel a lot better. What's crazy is this car always fights us right where we want to be. Like we want to be a seven, or we were trying to be eight five, so it was like eight fifty five or eight sixty or like eight yeah. forty. It never. It's okay. It's like a 10 yeah, I know. You kind of just. 172. So look, here's where we're gonna pick it up. See that 525? Yeah. We need, if we drop a 10th there, it'll go 7... 795 7, 7, or 785. Yeah. 126. So we... There's definitely room We need to, to add some in. Between the 60 foot. All I need to do is change first gear. Second gear, we're gonna leave alone. I mean... Definitely rev it out longer, too. Yeah. It still slippery. sounded early, but... Did you see where it hit the limiter on the big end? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's weird because it went 178 the past before and didn't hit the limiter. I know. So why is that? Hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> weird. Science. All right. What was that? Our fourth run. Yep. 8:11. Yeah. So right here you can see it made 
24 pounds of boost, but really Ooh. throughout the whole pull, like 23 and a half. Dang. So that compensated a lot for the timing that we took out of it. Which is so now we ran 26 uh, degrees timing, now we're 15 degrees. Ooh, time. that's so a lot of timing. Difference. Lost that timing, gained that boost to earn it back. Now we know where we're at. Center Pull for a center, degree. brother. Uh, we'll leave the timing alone <laughs> and just uh, throw some boost at it. I'd like to see like 28 pounds. Really? Uh, really, all we need to do is tickle it right here and it's going to do it. So. Okay. How far in is that another run? Uh, like two we're seconds. We're going to start getting after it a little more like a half second. Time. Bro, you think my okay. hair, the lady in the fucking box goes, oh my god, like, what's going on? <laughs> they realize and I take off and hit, no, they still know it's you. I take off and hit you, and they're like, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll start off this clip by saying that I didn't realize his fuel table scaling was also wrong from his map sensor deal. So I just figured that out. Last pass and all the passes were broken. The last pass and all the passes before were quite lean. Very, very lean in fact. So that's fixed. And you know, that might pick up some speed even. So we'll see what happens. Alright, here we go. Really hoping this is Parker's first seven second run. to show you guys is Cletus my brother's first seven second pass with the exact same time at the exact same track in the exact same lane I mean this blows my mind oh, oh my I can't read 782 is that an 8 or a 9? Is that an 82? 82! 782! 177! Bro, my first ever 7 was a 782. How weird is that? Let's go! Dude, I was so focused on my camera when I looked up, I couldn't read the board. Let's go! 782, baby! We almost blew it up numerous times, but we didn't blow it up. Holy Toledo! That was a fast one. I don't know. Oh, that lead was so hard. All right, let's go see what we ran. 782! <laughs> I've been working so hard for this. I love you, Dr. Pepper. Let's go. Whoa. 782 at 177. That's a wrap, people. And it still runs, folks. Incredible. I'm finally getting that five-star review on McFarlane Tuning. <laughs> My first ever seven know, was 782. You guys went from like 80 to. Dude, uh, I was looking at the board and I was like, I can't read that. Is that a seven, 782? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Oh, dude. It was a rocket. Let's go. Oh, yeah. You might have blown a head gasket. It's up there. It's oh, cool line? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. Dude, what a journey it's been. We've had this for only a year. Exactly, right? one year, right? Right, a year, like, to this week. And so we got new motor in it, turbos. And honestly, we're so lucky we didn't blow it up earlier. Like, 
Like, I don't think you know how close to death I that don't. engine was. Well, I think you do, because you've done it. I've done it. <laughs> I, like, looking back, we got so lucky. Oh, oh my god, man. Hey, congratulations, dude. That's Thank awesome. So far, though. We got to do it together, too. It's we do. Indy. Yeah. Indy, dude. Three star shootout. Oh. You're in. Hey, 32 cars racing at Indy. Please, the cars. This is the first time we're doing that, right? Yep, yep. So, it'll be a solid cool. contender. We can, dude. It has more in it, which we're is gonna, awesome. We'll retort the heads, you know, we'll, you know, do a little bit of this and that. We'll be Why dialing. is it leaking, though? That's... Oh, is it? See where the hot side is right down here. See where it's going to burn a hole. Down, see where it's going to blow down on there. Down there. Well, down and you emptied your coolant. It's just like Leroy, dude. It's just like a Leroy run. You know what it is? It's the wastegate dumping directly yeah, on that hand. Right. That's smart. I like how you set that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's 28 cheap. <laughs> <laughs> now it's melted. <laughs> hey, we both melted today in lines today. Yep. Hey, good job, buddy. Let's see the slip. Did you get a 490 in the A? 5 0, but a oh. 1 2, 160. It's the best 60 foot, best that's 8 true. mile. That's 782. Damn. That's quick. 506. I want that 490 for you, though. No, a 4 second. Eighth mile would be on a rim. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Congrats. Yeah. It has more in it. Really? Yeah, it does. Let's pull that data log. I want to see it. All right. Looking at the data log of the last run, we are way out of fuel system. The you said what? The fuel? We ran right out of fuel system. So the target air fuel was 7.6, dude. And it was still there, 7.6, but the duty cycle is all the way at 140 percent. So basically, the injectors weren't even chattering. Like they're just like a fire hose. Yeah. At that point. 24 pounds of boost. Yep. What I shift? Let's see what we left, left yeah, on. Shift seemed really good. 7600. 7, like everything was just. What do we leave on? Uh, 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Yeah, it kind of bounced around. I mean, dude, it was, it, it's the cleanest looking run the car I, I've ever seen from the car, and it was the fastest. They just love. They love it when everything's right. You know. Yeah. So that fuel, like. A lot of the reason we were seeing weird jumps around the RPM shaking is probably because it was lean and it was potentially spark knocking and stuff. Oil, oil pressure? <laughs> oil pressure. 20 on the... 20, I mean, it's better than one. True. Alrighty, that's a wrap. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.